Celtics and the Knicks are back at it tomorrow in Boston, which is probably a good thing for Julius Randle because we showed it earlier, but it's worth revisiting because after making a tough bucket in the fourth quarter, Randle gave the fans at the Garden a big thumbs down. And after the game, he was asked what his message was. Take a listen. Shut the up. What you talking about? To who? He just said to who? You saw the, you saw, you saw what was going on out there. Okay, so pretty clear. Uh, I'm sure oh. New Yorkers are going to be completely fine with all of that. So let's check in with one. Monica McNutt, you live in New York. And Monica, how was Randall's thumbs down going down? Uh, honestly, Malika, like, I kind of think this is a non-story, personally. Here's the deal. New York Knicks fans <laughs> are some of the most loyal in the NBA. And last year... Julius Randle was the most improved player. He was an all-star. He led this team back to the playoffs for a very long time, or after a very long absence, I should say. This year, quite frankly, he nor this team have not lived up to the foundation that folks thought were being laid last year. Okay, so you're not playing so well. You were down by 25 points, my guy. These fans are not just going to sit around and golf clap when you stink. And honestly, I have no problem with Julius's reaction either and was glad that he was so candid in the post game. This is a relationship. You love the fans when you're playing well. The fans egg you a little bit when you're not playing well. But if he's going to respond like this over some booze, then let the booze come. Perk? No, 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 no. See, here's the thing. Players today are too damn sensitive. Look, fix your face. Players today are too damn sensitive. Okay, are you, you on the right track. Go ahead, you, go ahead. <clears throat> no, you, you know what you're signing up for. You know what this New York Knicks fan base yeah. is capable of doing. You know what their expectations are. So, like, before Julius Randle signed that hundred-plus million-dollar contract extension, he know how hostile the fans could get. He set the bar there last year. They went to the playoffs. They were, in the, they were a top-five seed. They came into this season with high expectations. They signed Evan Fournier. They bought back Kimber Walker. Here they are sitting in the 10th spot. What, what they supposed to say, Monica and Malika? Good job. <laughs> Keep oh, up sure. the good well, work. That's a, what they're as supposed a, as a to say. As former resident That's... New Yorker, I'm just saying that when I would walk, if I was walking into my bodega on 34th Street today, I know that my friends behind the counter, they would be talking about that thumbs down. It's not just going to sit well with them. It's it's like it's what Monica said. There's a back and forth between New York and their teams, right? Mm hmm. So I, I think Perk, we're saying Monica? the same thing, Perk. I just don't have no. I, no, I think you and I are on the same page. <laughs> I personally, we're not. I don't have an issue with Julius Randle's reaction, and I, it's not to me. It won't carry over when he plays well. The city is behind him. When he's not, heavy is the head that wears the crown. And it is an emotional experience to compete. That comeback required a lot of energy. I don't have a problem with any of it. Well, there you go. All right. Well, we'll see if New York does. Mm. Monica, thank you so much for stopping by the show. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.